Okay, so you don't even need to understand this entire problem to get the right answer. So let's take a look at the question. So the sum of two consecutive odd integers is 60. What are the integers? Now feel free to use your calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, we do have a multiple choice question here. And let's take a look at our choices here. So A is 15 and 17. B is negative 2 and 60. C is 29 and 31. And D is 20 and 40. All right, so one more time. The sum of two consecutive odd integers is 60. What are the integers? Well, the correct answer here is C, which is 29 and 31. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm very confused. What's going on? Well, let's take a look at this problem as it is. And let's just kind of pick out the words that we uh, hopefully you do understand. So hopefully all of you out there know what the sum is. Now, the sum is the result of adding up numbers. Now, how many numbers are we talking about? We're talking about two numbers that happen to be odd. So if you don't know what the word consecutive is and integers is, you can still figure this out. So the sum of two odd numbers, all right, these type of numbers is 60. So let's go through our choices here. So A, we have uh, two odd numbers, but they don't add up to 60. B, we have even numbers, so we can kind of get rid of those. And D, we have even numbers again. So the only odd numbers that add up to 60 is our, our choice C. Now, if this was not a multiple choice question, well, this would be far more interesting. So if you're confused on what's going on here, don't worry. I'm going to go ahead and explain all of this as we get into the video. But let's go ahead and get into the problem. So uh, again, uh, we have an algebra word problem. Now, in general, okay, when you're solving any word problem in mathematics, you want to read the problem at least three times. I'm going to quickly go through uh, what I um, feel is like a good kind of set of guidelines here. And if you need additional help with word problems, or if you want to practice more algebra word problems, or just, you know, uh, learn the algebra that you need to solve these word problems, I have additional um, uh, word problems on my YouTube channel. And if you really want to kind of get into all this stuff, check out uh, my math courses. You'll find the links to each of those uh, in the description below as well. So again, you can have more advanced word problems if you're taking pre-calculus versus, you know, something more basic like uh, like this. That you, you probably find this, uh, this particular type of problem, like maybe like in a pre-algebra or algebra one course. Okay, but... And what you want to do is read the problem at least two or three, at least three times, not two or three times, at least three times to make sure you fully understand what's going on. So that's step one. Step two is you want to kind of model this uh, situation. OK, you can kind of graphically do that, uh, but any kind of creative way so you can kind of visually see what's going on or try to you know, kind of see patterns that you need to understand in order to uh, figure out the problem. The third thing is you want to establish a variable. The fourth thing is you want to create an equation, okay, to solve that particular variable. The variable is going to represent you know, uh, the unknown values that you're trying to solve for, okay? And then you're going to solve the, uh, that particular equation that you set up, and then you're going to answer the question. So I didn't list these things out. I'm just kind of telling you, uh, telling you uh, these guidelines here. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the problem. And before we uh, go any further, Let's make sure you understand what an, uh, what an integer is and then the, what this word consecutive means because if you don't understand these terms, you're not going to be able to do this problem. So integers, okay, in mathematics, remember these are part of the real number system and it's these numbers right here, okay? So we could start with zero. So we got one, two, three. Now, typically, if it was just one, two, or three, you would just describe these numbers as uh, you know, these would be what we call the uh, counting numbers, okay, or natural numbers. Then we throw in zero, then we have the whole numbers. And then if you take the positive and negative, the whole numbers, you have the uh, integers. But you can just kind of remember, you got one, two, three, zero, negative one, negative two. These numbers like this are integers, okay? And of course, they continue on in both directions. Okay, so that's what an integer is. 
and consecutive, well, the word consecutive in mathematics or anything is just you basically have uh, one thing right after uh, a number that comes right after uh, um, a previous number, right? So you have a number and then the next number. I guess that's the best way to say it. I'm not going to give you like a formal definition. Sometimes it's just easier to see it. So five and six are consecutive numbers, right? So you got five and then the next number is six. So you would describe uh, these numbers as consecutive. Now, this problem is a little bit different because we're not talking about consecutive numbers. We're talking about consecutive odd integers. So we have to kind of think about this for a second. So let's take a look at um, some examples of consecutive odd integers. So like if we have one, okay, one is an integer. I said it is an integer and one is odd. So the next number, the next integer is two, but that's even. Okay, so that's not going to be good. So here, three, the next number comes after that is odd and it's an integer. So consecutive odd integers would be like one and three. Okay, so you've got to really make sure you understand that. All right. Okay, so over here, you can see that if I have one, okay, that's an odd integer. And so uh, the next consecutive odd integer would be three okay and you can see this pattern here so seven's an integer it's odd so the next number is eight it's even so the next number after that is odd so like seven and nine would be consecutive odd integers now if you notice here they're separated uh, uh like consecutive numbers all you have to do is add one to get the uh, consecutive integers to get to the next number right but to get to the next consecutive odd integer <clears throat> excuse me you have to add two and so it's important that you kind of uh, model, you know, uh, patterns here so you can understand what you need to do. And so what we're going to do now is establish a variable, right? So we kind of hopefully understand um, the pattern here. We're looking for two consecutive odd integers. So if we let our first integer uh, be like X, right? X is something represents an unknown value, whatever that is. If X is our first uh, odd integer, then x plus 2 will be our next um, integer, right? Our next, our consecutive odd integer. So if x is our first odd integer, x plus 2 is the consecutive odd integer, right? And you can see this pattern play out with any set of, um, you know, integers, right? Like 11, 12, 13, these are integers, odd, odd, just, you know, just need whatever your integer is, x, add 2 to it and you get your next uh, odd uh, integer, right? Consecutive odd integer. Okay, so now that you understand the pattern, let's go ahead and formalize this and kind of define variables. So we're going to go ahead and let x, okay, uh, be equal to the first odd integer. So x plus 2 will be our second odd integer. Now, a lot of you might be saying, well, boy, you're really dragging this out, Mr. YouTube Math, man. I get what you, I get what I, you, you know, what I need to do. You don't need to write all this stuff out. Listen, this is the way, you know, you get better at word prompts. This is a basic word prompt. And, you know, you need to kind of tell the story of how you're solving it so your teacher or anyone else can understand what's going on. So if you can't, you know, uh, kind of structure your solutions properly and easy word prompts like this, you're gonna have a tough time with more advanced word prompts. So label things, just follow uh, the kind of the guidance I'm giving you. So establish what these variables stand for. So let X equal, just write this down, the first odd integer. So X plus two will be the second odd integer. Remember, we're looking for two odd integers. The, uh, so we'll have our first number and our second number. Okay, so now we need to kind of go back up to this part of the problem. The sum of two consecutive odd integers is or is equal to 60. All right, so now we, we're going to go ahead and build an equation. So we have these variables, but in order to solve for these unknown values, we need to set up an equation. So here is our equation. So here is our first odd integer, and this is our second odd, ent or, uh, odd integer right here, right? So we have x uh, and x plus 2. The sum of these two odd integers is 60. All right. OK, so now that you're satisfied, you got the correct equation, you model the situation. Now we're just kind of off to the races to solve this nice basic linear equation. So I have x plus x plus 2 is equal to 60. So x plus x is 2x plus 2 is equal to 60. Now I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation and you're going to get 2x is equal to 58. So to solve for x, 
all I need to do is divide the equation both side, uh, uh, the equation, uh, the both sides of the equation by two, excuse me, and you get x is equal to 29. Okay, so what does that mean though? Well, let's go back to, you know, when we established our variables, right? Uh, x was the first odd integer, so our first odd integer is 29, and we just kind of de uh, kind of deduce that the uh, plus 2, okay, when we add 2 to this one, we're going to get to our second one, which is 31, and of course, we kind of formalize that right here, so x plus 2 is our second odd integer. Our first, uh, integer, our first integer is 29, so it's 29 plus 2, that is 31. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math algebra and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.